Hi, I'd like to um, share with you something that's on my mind. Um, today is um, um, National um, Indigenous Pe Peoples um, Day um, in, in America, what used to be called Columbus Day. I mean, and um, it used to be it used to be called Columbus Day because we used to celebrate um, Christopher Columbus um, sailing across the um, sailing across the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, he was hoping to f find um, way, way, way to the um, to the um, eastern. Um, Eastern continents, um, but by, by sailing west, and then he ended up, um, ended up in the Americas. Um, he, he landed in, in the um, like the Caribbeans, and just uh, he ended up, he ended up what they call discovering America. <laughs> However, um, re recent um, re recent um, stories about. Of course, the Columbus don't paint him in a very, very um, favorable light. I mean, it's like he, I mean, in, instead of um, being the celebrated explorer, he's more, more like the pri of um, pri of um, of the ex of, of the exploited um, Native American populations and. Uh, they, Basically, um, he he exploit he exploited them. He enslaved them. He just uh, wasn't very wasn't a very very n nice person. And um, and yet and yet um, there's still pe people who insist on um, celebra celebrating his, his landing in, in America as as if, as if it were um, an accomplishment that's still worthy to be um, celebrated. I mean, people. We still have this pride. That, I mean, this. I mean, this this white nationalist pride that that every everything white white people did um, in America is justifiable. Like like um, we took we took over land that belonged to Native Americans. We uh, for, forced them out out of their own tribal lands. We um, we we made treaties with them that we ended up breaking, and uh, we we forced Native Americans to live in reservations and end up um, and end up taking their culture away from them. I mean. I mean, all this in all this in the na name of um, what they call manifest destiny. Like, like it's, it was mandated by God that that white people should take over America and make make it a uh, quote unquote Christian nation. And uh, and in instead instead of it being a truly Christian nation, uh, it's. It's been more more of a um, re religious nation. I mean, I mean, make no mistake. America still um, honored um, freedom of religion clause and, uh, that that we have in the Constitution, and that that um, Congress shall not make. Shall not respect the establishment of a religion, nor um, prohibit the um, free exercise thereof of a religion. It's just uh, just that it's just that white people in in America still still think that what 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 their ancestors did is justifiable, and they have they feel like they have nothing to apologize for. I mean, we we don't have to apologize for the fact that we're ruining the land that uh, Native Americans have lived on for 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 centuries, and, and just uh, I mean, this sin of pride is going 
is going to destroy, destroy um, wh white people, and and um, I don't. I mean, I think there's a good reason wh wh why um, like white population is is um, is decreasing. I mean, because because we're we're so we're so pr prideful in our in our accomplishments as white people that we uh that we basically take take it for granted that we're the morally pure I mean that that is in our genes that we're morally pure I mean everything that everything we do is justified I mean And I, and, and I feel that's what what is among um, white people who call themselves Christians. I mean, they feel like they did nothing wrong. I mean, their ancestors did nothing wrong, and they, everything everything they did was justified. I mean, but. But um, those excuse, those excuses will not um, cut it on Judgment Day when God will come come and judge the world. Um, I mean, G Jesus will will still um, divide the um, sheep from the goats, and uh, and he'll say he'll say to the um, say to she sheep on his right hand, come. You blessed my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. And the, the sheep will say, When did we see you um, hungry and fed you, or, th or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and took you in? When do we see naked and clothed you? When do we see you sick or in prison, and we uh, visited you? And Jesus will say to them, "I tell you the truth, inasmuch as you did this for at least my brethren, you did it for, for me." And then he will say to the, um, and then he will say to the um, goats on on his left hand. Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no drink. <laughs> Sorry. I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was um, a stranger, and you did not take me in. I was naked, and you did not clothe me. I was sick, and in prison, and you did not um, visit me. And then um, the, the, the um, ghost on the left will say, When do we see you... Um, hungry, thirsty, stranger, naked, sick, or in prison, and we did not minister unto you. And Jesus will say, um, I tell you the truth, inasmuch as you did, did it not for the least of my brethren, you did it not to me. And this brings up um, some, something else that um, if, if um, white people want to call themselves Christians, it's something um, that um, God said to Solomon um, after he had finished building a temple and dedicating it to the Lord uh, in Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. I mean, that's, that's something that um, God promises to um, people who will do that because if we if we don't humble ourselves and pray and seek the Lord's face and turn turn from our wicked ways, um, the Lord will not hear us. He will not he heal us, and he, he will he will not forgive us. And that's pretty much all I have to um, share with you in this uh, video. So have a good day, and may God bless you.